going on? Super excited for this video because today I get to share with you guys a better way to grow your hair faster. It's one thing to focus on your regimen and the products, but let's look internally to see what you can do to help your body maximize the growth that it can give you. So stay tuned. Okay, so when it comes to hair growth, okay, there are two factors that determine hair growth. Of course, there is the internal and the external. The external focuses on our products, our regimen, what we do on a daily basis. And then of course we have the internal. So our hair is in a hair growth cycle all the time. It's either in the antigen, which is the active growth phase, the catagen, where is the resting phase. And then you have the talogen phase, which is the shedding phase, which is when you comb your hair, you see those long pieces of hair, that's shedded hair, right? Now, if we go deeper, okay, there are different signaling pathways and proteins that help to regulate hair growth. So when it comes to the antigen phase, we are really trying to activate this phase so that it doesn't go straight into the catagen phase. Because if you have a short antigen phase and it goes directly into catagen too soon, you're not gonna get a lot of length. So we wanna focus on how can we increase this antigen phase so we can get longer length, but also when our hair is in the talogen phase, the shedding phase, we want it to instantly go back into the hair growth phase. So let's talk more about that. Okay, so the first ingredient I'm going to talk to you guys about is called red ginseng oil. Now, this is derived from red ginseng root. It is used in traditional medicines and Asian cultures. And there has been some research shown on red ginseng that suggests that this root actually decreases the proteins that are responsible for hindering our hair growth and increasing the protein activation of the ones that actually help to induce the antigen phase and increasing the duration of the antigen phase, okay? So this is really unique, really interesting. If you guys wanna learn more about the proteins involved with hair growth and the pathways involved, it's some really deep stuff, but it's really interesting. So if you do wanna learn more about this, comment below and just let me know. But this red ginseng oil is something that I have not seen in a lot of products yet, okay? But um, you can definitely purchase the extract the root online, you know, if you wanna make your own concoction at home, you can definitely try it out and see how your hair responds to it. But I believe red ginseng is definitely promising for hair growth now and also in the future as well. Okay, so the second ingredient is called faux tea, AKA he show woo. Okay, this is a herb that is also like in traditional medicines in Asian cultures. Now what makes this so interesting is that research also suggests that this herb actually slows the hair from going into the catagen phase, which is great. Now what makes this so cool is that if this herb can actually slow the hair from going into the catagen phase, that means your hair has more time in the active growth phase, AKA the antigen phase. So this is really interesting. On top of that, faux tea has tons of phytochemicals and terpenes, which are organic compounds that are known for regulating so many things within our body, especially when it comes to our hair. So if you're interested in checking out faux tea, you can find it in extract form, online. Um, there are some products online that have it, not a lot, so definitely do your research, look at the reviews, but this is definitely something I can see as a promising ingredient for hair growth as well. Okay guys, so the last ingredient is going to be none other than peppermint oil, okay? This is a essential oil, also full of amazing terpenes, and what makes it so great is that research also suggests that this is an antigenic ingredient, meaning it helps to increase the antigen phase within the hair growth cycle. On top of that, I've seen some research that showed that peppermint oil can also increase the number of hair follicles and the depth of the follicle within the scalp. Not to mention scalp stimulation, increased blood flow, all of the things. And because this oil is, you know, pretty popular, this is readily available, not only as a separate ingredient to make your own concoction, but also in other products on the market as well. And of course, with anything, do your research, check reviews, and use with discretion with anything that you try out on your hair and your scalp, okay? Okay. All right, guys, if you have enjoyed this video and learned something new, be sure to like this video if you liked this video, and be sure to subscribe to Curly Chemistry for more content 
backed by science from a cosmetic chemist perspective. Be sure to share this video, share this channel with the world. And of course, I have a question for you. Out of the red ginseng, the faux tea, and the peppermint oil, which one, in your opinion, is the most interesting to you? Which one kind of sparks your interest the most you feel kind of gravitated more to? And if it's none of those three, which one ingredient are you currently interested in when it comes to hair growth? Comment below and I can always join the conversation with you. Be sure to check out the Curly Girls Guide to Hair Care Ingredients if I've done so already to learn more about ingredients in the natural hair care industry. I have a link below for you to check out. And if you're interested in starting a hair care line, you can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. No matter where you are in the world or on the journey, I look forward to assisting you and I'll have a link below for you as well. All right, guys, I love you and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye.